Hey guys, the guy Rosaru, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we went to Troya, visited Edward, so we can get the uh, harp, the twin harp from him. And uh, we came here to the magnetic cave and found out that we cannot use any weapons that have to do with metal, which is stupid. But uh, anyways, uh, let's just progress to this area. Oh, let me get that treasure first, though. Just getting that treasure. I was. It's probably nothing. It's probably not worth it, but uh, who who knows? An emergency exit. Uh, I got teleport, so it's really not worth it. Anyways, we made it here into the crystal room, and this boss is a fucking dickhead, dude. He is a douchebag. Go up to him, and look, he just fucking talks weird. Yeah, cause you're a fucking faggot, piece of shit. That's why you had that magnetic field, cause you're afraid to fucking lose, you piece of shit. Anyways, you just go and attack him. Um, is the act the battle's actually kind of scripted in a way? So, uh, yeah. Let's have to tell it. Actually, let me, uh... Oh, shit. Uh, let's revive Tala there. Because, uh, we do not want him to die. And, of course, he would go and flick Tornado. Then he actually does some regular attack on us, and let's see what let's see what Kiraja, Kiraga does. Hopefully, he heals us a bit more. All right, that's uh, good enough. Yeah, as you saw, the battle is kind of scripted. You, it, yeah, you do need to survive that fight though, uh, though, or else you'll lose. And Edward is uh, trying to get out of bed so he can help Cecil and his friends. These guys try to stop him because he, they say that he's in no condition to uh, move. Then he plays a beautiful note on his harp. Which is actually his, uh, his theme. The twin harp sounds the melody sounds the melody from Edward's harp. Torturous sound. Yes, and with this happening, it actually negates the magnetic field. Oh, and sorry for that thing at the bottom. Okay, now that uh now that that happened, we can go ahead and equip all of our stuff, which I'm going to take the time to do, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back. Uh, let me do a save state really quick, and let's see what equipment I've got on everybody. And yeah, I actually equipped everything for Cecil there. Um, of course, Sid didn't really have a problem, neither did Tella, until I, uh... I had to remove the iron ring, and Yang didn't have any trouble there either. So technically, Cecil was the only person who couldn't um, use any of his shit. So, yeah. Now let's take on this fucking dickhead. Power, and just have a uh, Cecil attack. Let's study him a bit, if we can. That is, oh, apparently we can't. Wow, is that, is that really what you're gonna do the whole time? Okay, so that was uh, pretty good. That was good. Let's do a little bit of Blizzog on him. Wow, that is pretty good. 
doesn't do much, but uh, I'm not okay. Though I'm not gonna really do that, I guess. And he does tornado. All right, let's. All right, it's Tella's turn. Let's cure, heal Tella. There. Oh no! Every time I say Tella's name, it it kind of reminds me of Nutella. All right, now he's a dark dragon. Awesome. Wow, look at that damage. It's pretty good damage, actually. I don't remember his weakness, so uh, I'm not gonna even try. Let's see what his weakness is. Let's do a little frog on him. Ah, oh, still. Uh, at least uh, the Sword of Legends is actually doing pretty good. And there you go, we beat him. He actually wasn't even that hard. I t I forgot that he was uh. He was um was it kind of easy once you get past that part but yeah I really what I really wasn't expecting him to die that quick because usually it takes me a while for me to beat him okay now let's uh let's heal up everybody actually you know what let me um let me get out of here and uh, I will meet you guys outside of Troya Alright guys, I made it towards Troya, and all I did was uh, go to the Chocobo village and grabbed another black Chocobo. Now let's go in our airship. And, uh, where am I supposed to go now? I forgot. Oh. Never mind, we have to go, we have to go inside the castle of Troya so we can return to Earth Crystal from, uh, the clutches of the Dark Elf. Huh. Okay. Yes, I did reclaim the crystal, ladies. And of course, Earth Crystal is here. Okay. Bring the crystal in aboard the ship. I will take you to Rosa. Speaking telepathically. Oh, uh, the airship, he said, okay. Thought I had to find another, uh, elemental lord. That's not until much later in the game, I believe, uh... I don't even know how far I've even made it into the game. I think I'm about, maybe, 30% in, or maybe 35. Anyways, we go into this, uh, airship. And then there goes, uh, the Red Wing. Uh, now we gotta go to the Tower of Zot. And it magically takes us there. Huh, well done Cecil, you have exceeded even my expectations. Rosa stands beside me at the tower of at the top of this tower bring the crystal and we will make a trade awesome music by the way all right now let's uh explore this area all right here comes some new enemies the uh hell turtle and ice lizard i believe the lizards are weak to ice weak to f weak to fire me wow As for the turtles, I mean, they're they're pretty much going to be weak to ice anyways. Usually all turtles are. I don't know why, though. They're amphibians, which makes them cold-blooded. It's kind of weird. Okay, so fire does cure them, because, like I said, they're cold-blooded. Uh, they can survive weather, 
there in the heat or not. So let's... Oh shit, I didn't realize uh, Tella's health was that low. For the turtles to one-shot them. Oh, I was about to say, do not attack Tella. Do not attack the master of Nutella. That chocolate spread you put on your bread. Which is very freaking good, by the way. Sid leveled up. Ooh, we get a Mithril Shield. Awesome. Looks like I'll be equipping that on Sassel there. Alright, before we go on any further, let's uh, heal the party up. Jeez, I really, I should have, I probably should have bought more potions. Uh, what's in here? Do not want to go there yet. There's some areas I do want to explore. Alright, we get a Gremlin and a Centaur Knight. Ah, uh, okay. Centaur Knights are pretty tough though. You do want to be careful, especially with Tala because his HP is so low. And like I said, he can't use the Meteor spell because if he uses it, he'll die. And as you saw there, he could have gotten one-shotted, but he didn't. Because that Centaur Knight's pretty generous with us. Thank you for not killing him. They do give good experience though, I'm not gonna lie, These, this experience is pretty good. Especially for Cecil and Yang, cause they're already in the quadruple digits in their health. Alright, we get another enemy, a puppet, and a puppeteer. Apparently they're weak. I think that puppeteer can make more puppets though, if, if I'm not mistaken. Still, pretty, still some pretty decent experience, so that's good. Am I even going the right way? Because I know I'm going to get oh, some treasure. We get a flame mail. And luckily we already know what a flame mail does. It's a uh, resistance to ice, so... Yeah, now let's keep going. Alright, here goes another new enemy, Cold Beast. And I think after these, after the Cold Beast, that we won't be, we won't really need to, uh, we won't really, uh, run into any new enemies until we progress later, in, until we progress through the tower more, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Should have kept the fire claws. Oh, confuse the cold beast. So that's good. Okay, you missed. Awesome. Alright. Now let's keep going here. There's more treasure to get. Alright, just a bunch of puppeteers, and I really gotta have Tella heal people. Well, I'm more better off using my high potions, even though I don't have that much anymore. Hopefully I can find, it, uh, find a save area. Okay. Oh, oh, we can go down here. Alright. Oh my god, what is up with the encounter rates? Wow, I should have taken the time to actually buy some stuff. And I'm going the wrong way. Yes, I am. Wow. I want to see if, um... Sid can actually equip the flame mail. 
Oh no. Can he equip the knight's armor? No, he can't. So I'm gonna give Sid the flame mail so he can survive a bit longer. Although I do think, uh, okay, Yang can't equip it, so uh, I guess I, I just wanted to see if he can. I don't know. It's probably stupid, but who cares? All right. Right, everybody made it up to their trip quadruple digit number all thingy monster in a box awesome here we get a fiery hound these guys are yeah these guys are whoa they're tough yeah just um thank you for not dying my god Yeah, these enemy, this enemy is tough. Usually, monster in a box enemies are pretty freaking hard, especially to kill. Okay, we get a flame sword. Awesome. I will definitely be equipping that. Cecil there. All right, now before I go on any further, let's uh, restore Tella's magic. I mean HP. Oh, and I've got plenty of ethers now, so I can restore his magic. Alright. Okay. Is there a, uh... Is there a place where I can, like, rest up? So I can, uh... So I can, like, use my tent? Number one. Wow, I kinda went to a circle. Okay. Yes, I do suggest grinding here because, it, it, like I said, wow, I keep saying that. I don't know why, but usually spots that give you good experience is usually the spot that you want to level grind at because, like I said, this area is giving some pretty good experience. Even when you're fighting these puppets and these puppeteers. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And I'm going to leave this in the video. Because I can just take out that puppet in one hit. If Cecil would have attacked that puppeteer, he probably could have taken him out in one hit as well. And of course, Tell is going to miss. Yang leveled up, and we get a healing staff. Wow. Uh, let's see. I know it's not. It's really not any better. Um. All right, we should uh, get going now. Let's uh, progress. Oh, here goes some new enemies. Uh, Black Knight. The, yeah, they are pretty tough. Yeah, they do hit hard, but they're they're weak. Okay, let's keep going here. My God. Okay, here comes some new enemies: Purple Bavaris. However you want to pronounce those names. Apparently, they are uh, the equivalent of some of these slimes that you try to kill, and uh, it just doesn't go well. Of course, it does take one HP. You know what? Let's just run away. I don't want to have to deal with that. Jeez, Tella's gotta. I gotta heal Tella. And I'm running out of. Ah, uh, I just ran out of high potions. I should have bought more. All right. Go here. Is there, a, is there a place for, for me to rest? Can I use a tent somewhere? Alright. Um, you know what? I'll use this X potion. And uh, let's see. Let's have Tala use... Uh, that's good enough. Okay. 
What is up with these encounter rates? Oh. Oh, we can't get those treasures. Would suck. Ooh. We get Hellclaw. Awesome. There's another treasure behind there, but we can't get it just yet. And this poisons enemies. Awesome. Let's see what this door does. Ooh. We get a Gaia Hammer. I believe that's a, uh, it's an earth elemental? Yes, it is. Okay, good thing I just actually thought of something. And, uh, stop the heal. Because Talon needs it. Jeez, everybody needs it. Okay, let's go up here. We go down here and we get Sage's Surplice. Much better for Tella there. Although I won't be, I, I really won't equip it on Tella though, because uh, this is this will be the last time we'll be using him. Yeah, it's kind of sad to say, but it's true. All right, here comes some new enemies: a soldieress and a sorceress. Let's just attack him. Yeah, the guy hammer is pretty good. Um, I would leave it on uh, Sid for a while, unless you happen to stumble across a better weapon for him, which is, which will probably be eventually. But uh, Cecil gained a level one. We got an ether. Awesome. Please let's be safer. Yes. And uh, yeah, and I'm gonna call this an episode here. In the next episode, we'll be rescuing uh, Rosa and uh, whatnot. So yeah, with that being said, it's the guy Rossi signing out. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I shall catch you guys next time. Take care.